Hi, I'm Keegan, and we're a bunch of gamers. This is our first episode of Pugmire. I'm going to go around the table and introduce my players. You said you were going to introduce us. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so I'm Thomas, uh, playing uh, Sheen, the colleague who's also a religious person, so he's got kind of the religious vestments, and tonight we'll go with like a grave, yeah, kind of grave religious person. Okay. I'm Michael, I'm playing Bernard Benjamin, a reckless hunter of the uh, unseen, who is also a beagle. Hi, I'm Christine, I'm playing Vesper Katasivan Rex, a soldier-turned-wanderer from House Rex, looking to find her place in the upper echelons of the kingdom. I'm Liam, I play a character named Tucker, he's a Pyrenees, um, his ideal is to protect Tom and his major flaw is to keep his anger in check. And I'm Mike. I'm playing Tagbard McTerry, a Scottish Terrier, a former merchant and soldier, well, and city watchman, who's disillusioned with the guard. His goals are to make money, and uh, he's skeptical of authority for a dog. Okay, so, sitting around, or moving through the city, several of you are coming at various different times to your old haunt, the old dog tavern at the river wall. The first person to enter is Vesper and Benjamin, in this case. As you see Scruffy working at the bar, as he gives you a curt nod, cleaning various glasses and bowls for various patrons. Greetings, Scruffy. How are things going? The usual. So nothing's going on? Uh, The standard riffraff coming in here, messing up my bowls, talking the big game. Talking about getting into the city proper. At that moment, Sheen walks in. Shepard! As there's a bit of a quieting murmur, several of the dogs look over. Money usual. Uh, new tricks it is. Bowl or mug? Bowl. Or is the drink in the, the bowl and slides it over as you start lapping it up. At that moment, Tagbard and Tucker enter together seeming to be in some sort of conversation. They'll both stop as you see Scruffy already serving your uh, your companions at the bar proper. You give a nice survey. You see there are several cats in this tavern, as well as several rats, and though still a fair amount of dogs, typically rough and tumble, a couple scars here and there to represent the harder life of dogs of the river wall. Scruffy, bowl of ale, please. Ale it is. As he him kind of muggling, he goes, Bowl or mug? Bowl. As he puts it out, slides over. Tucker? Bowl and a bowl. Alright. I'll have a bowl of milk. Very well, very well. As you see him, like, rumbling, as you hear him go to the back, going, I know, I know. I just, I just, yeah. He comes out with a bowl of milk for you. Much obliged. You'd all come here to meet Fritz. Fritz apparently had some work for you with the Royal uh, Pioneers. He hasn't arrived yet, and the area seems to be bustling as Scruffy comes out and goes, Fritz sent word ahead. Corner table there. He's already reserved it. If there's anyone out, push him out. If they refuse to be pushed, just let old Scruffy know. Oh, thanks. It's my establishment. I can kick people out of any chair I want. Yes, you can, Scruffy. Yes, you can. Uh, there is no one there as you all start to sit down and arrive, kind of having a few moments to converse amongst yourselves. So, milk, eh? Does that come in alcoholic? You know, you'd have to ask the barkeep about that. I don't partake. I like to keep my wits about me. Surrounded in, surrounded by dogs just puts one on edge, you know. Being surrounded by dogs is what makes me drink. <laughs> oh, hey. Listen out. We'll have to partake another time when we're not on the job. So, oh, you met Benjamin and Tucker. I have. Are they what you imagine good dogs to be? Not really sure I came into this knowing what a good dog is. <laughs> That's why I needed your help. Right. Otherwise, I wouldn't have been able to find one on my own. That's right. What do you think a, a good dog is? Ah, I knew I'd be one. <laughs> so you're you're a, a bad dog? I like to think I'm a dog who's still in. Fair enough. Although 
Although that implies that you can train dogs. Oh, I think dogs can train As you hear them. someone in the background going, that's because cats have no sense of loyalty or training themselves, as you hear this ruckus laughter at one of the t- nearby tables. <laughs> Aye. Loyalty, eh? What are you loyal to? I'm loyal to my kingdom, sir. And how's that working out for you? Well enough. <laughs> Big, jowly looking, almost mass- massive mix. Well, cats know how to think for themselves. Maybe you should try it sometime. Aye. They thought for themselves and they tried to take part of our kingdom. As you hear a ha as you see some of the cats, like, giving a sigh. Oh, this again. Dogs could think for themselves. Perhaps this conversation would be done already. Perhaps. Ah, pay them no money. You continue to drink a bit, and your bowls run empty. Fritz is, Fritz is running late. As Scruffy kind of moves over and goes, Ah, more drinks for you? Cool. All right, same all around? Yes. Yes. <sighs> yeah. In fact, why don't you just bring me the bottle? <clears throat> I don't know if they have enough plastic, Missy, but, well, you seem good for it anyway. I appreciate that. So, who did Fritz talk to again? Certainly not me. He just said that he needed all of you here. Something about an exploit that would uh, get you some more experience with the Royal Pioneers. Mm-hmm. Any other details? No, not, not currently. He doesn't show up soon, Maybe I'll be an exploit right here in the bar. As you continue drinking, you see uh, one of the local rats coming up. Tagbard, Tucker, you guys recognize him as um, Willard. He's almost the unofficial mascot of the old dog. He keeps coming in. He's got a big smile on his face as he kind of staggers up. It's bigger than normal, even. Well, Pioneers? Well, oh, the lady... Von Corret. It's good to see you again. Yes. How you been? Oh, moving here, there. Ah, but isn't it interesting, Pugmire trying to chew as he cracks up and gives a kind of a glance towards uh, Vesper with a smile going, that the city seems to be trying to kick out the riffraff as he gives you kind of a smile. But luckily, we all stick together. Hey, I've been out of town. I don't know what's been going on there. Ah, uh, well, things are strange as always. The dogs are barking their heads off at some of us, but most of us don't pay them no mind. <laughs> anyway, thought I'd say hi. Hi. Right. See you Fritz around. Fritz? Uh, I've heard, I thought I saw him a while ago. He should be here soon, I would think. <laughs> ah, well, anyway. I'm going to get myself a drink. Excuse me. So, um, so I'm going to sense motive on the last thing you said. So you okay. He was telling me. Okay. It's, is it just the proficiency? Uh, it's proficiency plus wisdom if you have, uh... No. Eight? Oh. Uh, no, ten. Okay. okay. You, uh... It's, he seems kind of honest. Like, it's not... You can't put your finger on it. Something's up. Not saying everything. Mm-hmm. Just saying that your constitution should actually be a plus one, plus two. Or, 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 yeah, because it should be. Oh, yeah. Um, ten minus, uh, yeah, minus, yeah, minus ten. Yeah, minus ten. Divide by two, so it should be a plus one instead of a plus two. So oh, gosh. Right. you can do a um, you can do a spot check, which is a wisdom check. I believe it's or perception check. I'm sorry, perception check, which is just a wisdom check if you don't have the uh, skill. The skill is notice. Notice, that's the one. Of course, okay. So, a what are we rolling? Uh, D20, and then you add your wisdom modifier and your proficiency wisdom if you have notice. And I don't have notice. So. Okay, so it's just your wisdom modifier. That's a four. Okay, you. Two. <laughs> you don't see. Sh- <laughs> Everyone? Oh, that's definitely a no. Yeah. Minus yeah. one. What is we just rolling and add wisdom? Yeah, wisdom. Man, it is that kind of game today. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm too deep into the milk to notice anything. Nine. Likewise. No, Keegan. We trained all our dice for Conan. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently. So. 
So, Shepard, what brings you to a place like this? Why not? Looking for more people to talk to about God? Man? About man? <laughs> <laughs> Message of man can be brought everywhere. Forever. It's for everyone. thought you'd ever get out of that church thing. Yes, but I had uh, a revelation. Man sent me here. Well, can't ignore that, can you? Oh, no. Some more time passes. Fritz is very late. As you're all getting kind of concerned, you see Fritz finally enter the old dog. He's been roughed up really bad. As Scruffy looks at him with a bit of concern, he's like, Get me a drink! It's gonna be fine! As he starts marching over to your table, he looks over and goes, nods, realizing that's where it is, goes over to Scruffy, grabs a mug in this case, and starts stammering over, and he just collapses partially into a chair, leaning back, taking a swig before slamming his mug down onto the table. <sighs> well, I wouldn't have blamed you to leave, but I'm glad you're all here. Ah. <sighs> Riverwall is a tough town. Well, that uh, what happened? <sighs> One moment. Scruffy! Another new trick! Ah! Well, I was going to bring you news about a map. It is apparently a piece of an ancient map that led into the forest. That would... That led to some sort of, well, temple to man. And a cache of relics that the pioneers wanted. Well, that perks my ears up. I and I had a fragment of that map, and I was going to start showing it to you so that you could look for the other pieces at, you know, the the Temple of Man, maybe find some clues and hints, since they're keen on getting their paws on those relics as well. Well, five rapscallions came out and attacked me. Knew I had the map. Or at least it fell out of my pocket and they knew what it was. And ran off. Oh, I tell you. They were bad dogs. Bad dogs, the lot of them. <laughs> ah. What did they look like? Oh, it was a bit dark and they got me from behind at first. I think two of them looked like, well, offshoots of the Doberman family, likely. Lost members who aren't part of that house anymore. Surprised they even are allowed in Pugmire, given they're attacking someone who's done them no harm. Ah, <sighs> but perhaps you can get something on them. I was... oh, Where? I was near the Salty Dog Goods and Services. Uh, you guys can do an intelligence check. You can also do a... Knowledge culture, if you have I'm minus one on intelligence, and that's a 19. Okay. <laughs> 12. 12. Okay. Nine. 20. Well, if you got a natural no, 20. Yeah, that's 20. We both got natural 20s. Do we add a proficiency bonus to this? If you have knowledge culture. Okay. No culture. Okay, no culture. So then I got a 19. Okay. 12. So, one, two, or so, Tagbard, Tucker, Vesper, and Sheen. All remember that, no, well, you all know where the Salty Dog is, but you four know that the Salty Dog is something many believe is a front for pirates' stolen goods. Lots of illicitly, or illicit plastic passes through that area, coming up from Water Dog Port. Now, what were you doing so close to... Salty dog? Yeah. Such Pass them by. Dog. They usually don't bother people who are invest who aren't investigating them. I don't even know if they were members of that establishment. Since it was the establishment members who picked me up and brought me to my feet and asked me if I was fine. They don't want to bring undue attention, and they definitely don't want to attack a member of the Royal Pioneers. Bring the police dogs on them. Hmm. Maybe one of them saw something. Hey. Well, if you look around, please let me know. I I feel like I want to spend a bit of time here and, uh, well, catch my breath and perhaps straighten my snout 
after the thrashing they gave me. Good idea. Um, Watch your back, though. I, I will. I will. I will. I will. I, I appreciate the concern, but now that I'm in this corner, no rapscallion bad dog pirate can get on Fritz. <laughs> I'll clock him down as he looks over the rest of the bar, and the bar just kind of looks at him like, Whoa, dude, what are you trying to do? It <sighs> seems like a, a good time as any for us to have some conversations with the community. <laughs> Don't you think, gentlemen? I'd love to observe you talking to the community. That'll be fun. Oh, absolutely. Might not just be words we have to use here in conversations, however. I'll enjoy watching either way. I'm sure you will. Traveling over... River or through River Wall, you get to the Salty Dog Goods and Services. The building is unusually barnacled up for being a building nowhere near the ocean. It's by the the river that leads down that magic and technology has been used to clear out so it's not acidic. You have you see several dogs and even a few cats working. In the goods store, several moving down to the docks to bring more supplies and cargo back to the store. The dog in charge seems to be a basset hound with an eye patch on, as he's shouting out orders to the others. Greetings. Hmm? Hi, oh, Good to meet you. The name's Benji. Pleasure, Benji. Listen, my business associates and I, we might have a line on some... Relics. Oh? I uh, was wondering if you or your business associates were interested in maybe doing some uh, <clears throat> under the table trade. I'm listening. I will talk in my office. Alright, you lily livers! Keep stacking the boxes and make sure that the customers have an excellent time. <laughs> As you see his jowls and his ears shaking back and forth as he's giving that extra oomph in what he's saying. As you enter the rough, fairly small office with several maps and some strange pictures of lands clearly far off, Benji sits down. Now, I usually work on the the water, so I'm curious. Where are these relics? Well, that's the thing. See, we happen to have a map. However, it's missing. You haven't heard anything about a piece of a map. No, not a, not really. If I did, I would be certainly interested in what you have to say. Well, a friend of ours was attacked right outside your establishment. Ah, that know. was the Royal Pioneer fella. Right. I, I, ah, uh, well, seems our guards were paid off with good plastic not to check out the back. We check out the back because of... Nasty customers in town, not well, hell you know. I think for for totally legitimate reasons. But someone paid them t- three plastic coins apiece to leave their post. Now I understand why they did it. In their shoes, I might have done it myself. But it seems that we had to have a disagreement, and I sent them to work on this ship. To show my displeasure. Oh, the arts. Yes, the ones who were paid off. Aye. Which ship would that be? That would be the roving maid. Thank you. Did you happen to see who the men were? Yourself? No. Oh, the, my the guards? guards? I, of course I know what my guards look like. No, no, the dogs that attacked. Apparently some of them were over. No, they were gone by the time we got back there. No. Now you can search around. We didn't do a thorough search. If I may ask just a question, uh, or two, does this happen often, where your guards are being paid off? No, not often, Mo- uh, Mogi. Not often. So, Mogi is, means stray cat, So he did, and he's just assumed. Right. You can call me Vesper Catus Von Rex. Oh, Von Rex! <laughs> My apology. Next time I see you, I'll buy you a drink. Your house's greed is the reason that my city is free. You're welcome for that. Now, these soldiers, these guards that were paid off, have you had issues with them in the past? No, no, they've done well enough. As I said, 
someone came with plastic that they couldn't ignore. That much plastic for just leaving their post for a few moments? Well, well that would definitely get them some better equi- equipment and perhaps some uh, better things at home. Well, nobody nobody can blame him in that situation. Who in town has that kind of money? So that we'll kind have of plastic. Well, we have some competitors. I thought it might have been espionage. But it seems that our facility was not tampered. That was the only thing we checked. Interesting. Thank you for the information. Of course. The guards' names? The guards are Kenny... Kenny G? (laughs) And David. (laughs) Both mutts. Do either of us leave them? No. But, if you want to have a look around, none of it, I'll let the men know that they won't stop it. They're not just stop it. Don't want any troubles with the royal pioneer. No, we have no intention of bringing you any trouble. Obliged. I will check out the back. Alright. I will need a search check. Please. 16. You succeed. You find a patch of blue cloth. Um, you're not the... Blue is a strange and very particular shade. You can make a... Excuse me. You can make a a no culture roll. 14. 14. You do not. Okay. What is the intelligence? For no culture? Mm-hmm. Uh, it's intelligence. He has to bring it to you, though. So yeah, since you're not, no. you didn't go out back. I don't find anything else back there. No, nope, that's the most important thing. It looks like it was ripped, so Fritz clearly did fight back a little bit. He clearly got a nice grab of their clothing and ripped it off. Hmm. I'd like to see if I'm noticing anything different about any of the workers who are still around. Okay. The cats, the dogs we've seen. Okay. That is wisdom, so I'm at 19. Okay. The dogs give you kind of smiles and nods as word is disseminated about your house loyalty, while well, some of the cats... Give you kind of glares and things like that. They're working, but you do notice that whenever a crate is open, they do the slight lift up and peak so that you cannot see. I'll just kind of meander around the yard and see if I notice anything. Okay. It's while you're in the back. Who who all went to the back? Just just uh just Benjamin. Just see if I notice anything out of the blue outside of you know the stolen goods and. <laughs> what not. So you see several people passing by. You see some people who are clearly trying to hide their identity coming in and then speaking to some of the workers as the workers do know they pull out like a strip, an itinerary and then they go and wave these incognito persona or p- persons into the back. And then you'll notice two people come later with a sack creaking open a crate pulling out things discreetly into the sack, tying it up, and then bringing it into the back. Though, on the storefront as well, you do see several regular goods such as weapons, foods, even exotic foods, salted meats, and things like that from the sea, including some fish. And various other goods, some even exotic cloth from the lizards from across the sea, that would fetch a high price in noble houses. So, it's at this time that you see Benjamin turning the corner, holding the cloth. So, I found not much back there, but I did find this cloth. It's very strange, and I don't really recognize it from anything. Hmm. Anyone else know where it's from? So you guys can do a no culture? You can still do an intelligence check. Four. Hmm. Four. Okay. None of you pick up on it. However, it's very likely that someone at the old dog might be able to put together what this is. No. Did you see anything? Nothing. There's nothing here that's unexpected. They clearly are a a well-trained group in terms of keeping the goods. As you hear. Merchants of fortune! Hiding nothing! <laughs> a well-trained set of merchants of fortune, then. You have to be. So, what would the group like to do? Do you guys want to go 
question the guards and then head back to the old dock. I think so. Okay. So who's going where? I know I'm headed back to the old dock. Old dog. So, when you're an old dog. I'll go along with him. So you're the old dog? Yeah. You and I should question the guards where at the ship. The ship. So, where's the ship? Roving me? I guess I'll go back to the old dog if they're going to. Do you want any help with that? Or? In the ship. Mm-hmm. Unless you want to join us or investigate somewhere else. He's, he's said he's going to the old dog. I guess I'll go back to the old dog unless you guys want to. the old dog, us to the ship. So we'll have you guys start with you two going to the ship. As you get to the port, you see several ships, many made of plastic, or at least a few made of plastic, that have come up. Some are actually crafted of wood. Likely just there to transport goods quickly between Pugmire and Waterdog Port without actually making the long trip at sea with their hull being eaten out by the ocean. Moving along, you do see the roving maid. Are the guards on the ship or on the pier? There are several dogs moving back and forth off the ship, moving supplies and things like that. Are the guards specifically? Uh, you would have to ask since you don't know what the guards look like. Or are you talking about the guards of the ship? Well, whichever one. Oh, I see. They, yeah. they weren't city guards. They were just uh, yeah. They're just guards for the, the right, establishment. Right. Yes. Ah. Ahoy! Anybody seen Kenny or David around? Who is asking? Oh, my name is Tagbar McTerry. This is my companion Tucker. You see, as he's looking you up and up and down, kind of a beefy bulldog, about twice the height of a standard bulldog, and wide at the shoulders. As he's look, as he goes. And why are you looking for Kenny and Dave? Well, we were just having a conversation with your boss. Agreed to help us out, told us where we could find him. I see. Well, come with me then, as he leads you onto the ship. You see several workers kind of giving you the eye. You see some rats, too, who work on the ship. As you move down, you see two dogs breathing incredibly heavily as they are nonstop moving crates to other dogs, not giving a break. You two, your break came early. Seems Benji has two boys here to question you. Speak your mind, but I'll be in the room to make sure sensitive information is not revealed. Oh, there's... Trade secrets and all. There's no need for that. I think we're all on the same way. Perhaps, but trade secret and all. I would think that. Can I roll a person check? Yes, you can. All right, so... Because it's charisma based and that's one of the dotted ones. Mm-hmm. Uh, so you look at skills. So you have plus skills. Yeah, I have. Uh, yeah. So then, yeah, that would be the plus four. That'd be plus four then. Yeah. Okay. Don't get any extra because it's one class skill. Oh, no, that's, that's for all. Well, that's well. That's where the. Uh, so you use your charisma on like if it's a charisma check, you're just using your base charisma, mm-hmm. which would be this one. And yeah. if it's a skill you're proficient in, then you do your base charisma. Plus your proficiency bonus. Right. So that's why it would be the same as this in this case, but not all cases. Oh, uh, I can see. But, yeah. I guess there's usually... Well, I guess there could be a... Anyways. Oh, that's... Ten to ten. I'll be right outside the door. I... Uh, all right. Kenny, David, who paid you? Where's the map? We don't know nothing about no map. Who paid us, though? Some... Some ruffians, uh, wearing a special kind of blue. We don't, we're not regulars here. We don't live here. They look like a local street gang of some kind. Oh, no names? They didn't give us names, they just gave us plastic. And enough plastic not to ask. Where? Oh. Ooh. I have no idea what they are. Yep, you. What, what role were you trying to roll? Uh, I was doing a sense mode. Almost not one of my skills, so it would just be a charisma then? It would just be a wisdom. Stuff. I have a minus. What's the worst thing? Ah, uh, three. Okay. So crap. So where did they meet? Uh, they met us right. They called. They showed us the plastic while we were guarding back there. They told us someone was coming along and to uh, just wait it out. What did they look like? All oh, various smut types. Two, two gals, three boys. Dobermans. Two were Doberman like. One looked a bit like a sheepdog, and a rather nasty-looking chihuahua chap. Got it. That's... that's it for me. The score of them? Five. Two Dobermans, a sheepdog. What? No, mutt-type that I couldn't really put my finger on. 
Well, your actions, got our friend, have been quite helpful. Maybe we can forgive some of that. What do you think, Booker? Well, might as well. And Captain confiscated, confis- confiscated our plastic. Oh, did he? Told us disloyalty, disloyalty and recklessness met with no profit. He decided to give us it to make an example of us. Aye, with them too. Now, what were these trade secrets? The business associates of vengeance, come on. Well, I'll tell you, Brutus doesn't want you to know. Brutus is the one who put you in here and took your plastic. Brutus is a bit of a, is a bit more terrifying than you. Ah, it's a coward whose tail turns in which way to win. I'm not a coward, just smart enough to know when I've been licked. <laughs> ah, gee, I- no, I don't it's have a strength. That. Uh, it's a strength skill. <laughs> strength skill. Oh, I got plus two on it, so I'll try. Uh, fifteen. So. All right. We do some raiding of ships, bring some goods in, make a profit. We don't hurt no one. Well, see to it. You. Door swings open and slams. That's enough out of you. You two, off the ship. Fair enough. Fair enough. Meanwhile, as you three begin approaching, you all get to the Old Dog Tavern and enter, I assume. Mm-hmm. You see Scruffy nodding at you. Back so soon! We got uh, some questions about a piece of cloth we found. You know... A piece of cloth? Yeah. Strange blue color. Huh, let me take a look. I hand it to Scruffy. Scruffy grabs, takes a look, and goes, oh. That's the marking of the uh, the back alley retrievers. As you see, three dogs get up and go, point at you three. Get them! So please roll initiative, you three. Yeah, awesome. Total of 20. Okay, give me a sec. I have no cat-like reflexes with these dice. As it turns out. If we were playing Conan, I'd be kicking ass. <laughs> <laughs> A six. I also got a six. Uh, Which one of you two has a higher dex mod? Benjamin, what do you plan on doing? As you see the bar kind of erupted up, what's going on sort of there? Did they draw weapons? Yes. (laughs) Nearest one, I shoot with my crossbow. (laughs) All right. It's going to be that kind of game, is it? (laughs) Attempt to do non-lethal damage at all. I will. Okay. That's a minus two. Okay. Twelve. That hits. And it's plus my dex mod? Yep. Uh, twelve. Twelve. You knock him out. I'm going to say, do the rest of you want to continue this? As they two, they look at each other, I'm going to steal morality in other systems. <laughs> One just tries to book it out the back, like he's, tr- he's jumping out a window, and the other one's like, coward, as he pulls out a sword. He just... And the dog's going to come at Benjamin... Make a swing. Draw a class? 15. Okay, he misses. Vesper? I'm going to pull out my sword and attack. Okay. See if I can't maybe take out a leg or two. So you're not, you're going to use lethal damage. Well, we'll try for non-lethal this time. So I have roll plus four. Is that a bonus for my weapon? Or how exactly? I just I just want to make sure before I roll that I'm so, reading this correctly. So yeah, the roll is to the uh, mm-hmm. is to the roll, but it's minus two, so it'd be a plus two this time. Okay. But do I and I get a proficiency bonus on that? That's uh so that's the normal roll. So plus four is normal. Okay. But minus two because you're doing a non lethal. Okay. So it's plus two. Okay, so I get a thirteen then. That hits. Okay. Seven. Seven. Okay. All right, and she. Okay, so pulling out the mace, and you said non-lethal damage is minus two to is that to the, the roll to the attack, yeah, to the attack. Okay, so or the attack roll, yeah, the attack. Okay, so roll is a fourteen, that and is. the mace is okay. Wait, it's fourteen, so minus two is twelve. And what else? Proficiency plus strength. Wait, for damage, you mean? Or no, just for the roll. Oh, for the roll. <laughs> you had a minus one to hit. That's the damage. Is that the damage? No, he gets just a plus one, so it'd be minus one. So it'd be a 13, which still hits. 
Okay, 13 hits, and then... A d6 minus 1. A d6 minus 1. Okay, there you go. Sorry. Five. Five. You knock him out. He's knocked out. Sorry. So, as Scruffy goes, both of them you hear Scruffy going, Calm down, the lot of you! Calm down! You! Tie him up and take him out! I was planning on it. Got any rope I can borrow? <sighs> as he grabs under and throws you some rope. Tie him together, take him out back. All right. You take him out back. Mm-hmm. Gonna wait for him. They kind of wake up, shaking. Ah, filthy traitors of Pugmire! For doing what? Working with that as he nods and looks over at Vesper. Oh, I see. These are the kind of dogs that have no independent thought. That's why your society hasn't progressed any. I will cut your throat, cat. I'd like to see you try. I have to agree with her. You're pretty bad at it. Pretty sure we already caught you, so maybe you should stop while you're ahead and just answer our questions. So you seemed uh, pretty excited to attack us just when we found out you know, who the cloth belonged to. So uh, what do you know? None of your business. As, as one goes, that we took your map. So what? Better to take the map from a traitor than let it fall in the hands of a cat. Cats with relics of man? You let them, <laughs> you let them desecrate those... Holy relics like that? Do you have no pride? My only pride is in killing monsters. I don't give, I really care about much else. You so. sorry examples of dogs have nothing to be proud of. You'll see when you see the rest of the organization, you filthy mongrel. Well, if they're as good as you, I'm not really concerned. If you're so certain, just tell us where that's the map at. He gives you their hideout. Go, find it out. Gladly. wonder how much. How, you know, people are going to talk about a gang that ceased to exist due to its own arrogance. Watch. You're the ones that will cease to exist. I'll split his throat. No. You're no fun. Yes! I'm gonna go back to the bar then. Let you do this. Maybe have some drinks, fine. Calm you down. Go have some milk. I'll scratch you. I'll scratch both of you. Fine. Do whatever you guys want to do. We're going to head back to... What was the the salty the salty dog salty dog to pick pick them up? I'm okay. going to make sure the knots are tied pretty well. Okay. I'm also, just gonna and, and then I'm just gonna leave them there. They're eventually get out. Okay. Yeah, we'd gone to or something the else because I'm assuming I think you guys are gonna just meet back. The salty, and, and dog. The salty dog. Oh, okay. Yeah. I would assume that we'd meet back at the bar. Okay. You can do that too. Yeah, we're, I figured we were gonna head back there. After. Unless All is right. there any point in turning them into the guards? That's dumb. Um, they, they attacked you. Alright, we're turning them into the guards. Sounds good. So, you all reconvene at, at the old dog. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. Well, learn anything? Yeah, they know we're looking for them. And they seem to think that they're incredibly dangerous and too much for us to handle. Okay. Back alley retrievers. They've got the same impression of us. Oh. Did you learn anything? Hey. Yeah, nothing new. Back alley retrievers. Also, the salty dog really is sketchy. Apparently, they're in the raiding business as well as the smuggling business. It's not surprising. <clears throat> no, but there's a difference between a man just trying, to, a dog just trying to make a living, and one doing so by taking a living away from somebody else. And you say you're not a good one. So. Any idea where are these back alley retrievers? I will relay the location. And how do you know he was telling the truth? I don't know much care. There either be more there for us to beat, beat and find out where the next location is, or he told the truth. So if it's a trap, well, we know it's a trap. Fine by me. Perhaps we ought to scope the place out in advance. I have no problem with it. Or alternatively, we just burn it. Fires. Kidding. <laughs> For now. I almost agree with you if we weren't trying to find an old piece of That's assuming that it's going to be there for us to find. No. Ah, so how did you find this out? They attacked us here. I thought so. In the moment? old dog. Uh, one of them ran off. I guess we could also follow his trail. Mm. We'll probably just be wanting to kill the rest of them. Oh no, we t- knocked him out, turned him into the guards. Ah, I suppose he kept their uniforms. Yeah. Scope it out, or run in sword swing? We can scope it out first, if you want to. 
Good idea. Hunter. Sha, any of you want to join me? At least part way in case things go poorly. I'll hang back, but stay with him. I'm not exactly the subtlest. Well then, let's get to it. Let's hope that uh, the one who escaped did not get that much of a head start. Might as well capitalize on it now. Try to follow his trail. Okay. So Let's start following his trail. Following him out. Well, they. He's, well, he's following the trail of the one who escaped. I'll at least move towards the address he gave us. Mm-hmm. Just to kind of see what I notice, creep about. You guys start noticing that you're going the same direction. Fair. When you get to a certain point, though, something seems off. That's when you notice it. First, and I will reveal it once uh, everyone makes a roll. Intelligence, please. Or, I'm sorry, not intelligence. So it's a, going to be a wisdom check. It's except for you, you, you notice Ooh. it automatically. Yeah, 13. 14. Okay. 14. 14. 14. 12. 12. 12. You all notice it. There are no cats nor rats here. At all. It's just dogs. Like in the streets? Yeah, in the homes and the shops and things like that. Hmm. Like, you just crossed what felt like an invisible line, and now the only cat with you is Vesper. We're still in the backyard, though? Yep, under a wall. Hmm. Well, we have two options here. We can move forward, knowing that my presence will draw quite a bit of attention. Or we can do some additional digging. I can see if there's any information that I can gather that you can't. I point out, they know we're associated with you. And they don't seem to care if someone's in your presence. Them just knowing you is enough for us to be a target. Well, we know that we're a target for the gang, but in this backyard, we might draw the ire of other groups in addition to the one we already know is out to get us. Might be the gang is doing it. You're not wrong. If you think you can find something out, do it. I think we should handle one problem at a time. Well, you guys want to move forward. I've got matches. Don't worry, we'll protect. I, flint and steel. I don't need the protection of dogs. I think I thought I'd proven that to you over the years. Ah, fair enough. How about you protect us? Mm, yeah. I'll consider it. So, let's keep going then. Okay, so, moving through the town, you notice several people glaring at Vesper, others moving behind and hiding. As you get to a large, multi-level, though still somewhat of a ramshacked building, it is heavily guarded. And, what's more, the dogs here seem very well equipped for dogs that are supposed to be part of the poor part of town. Some are in medium and heavy armor. All of them are carrying the latest and greatest weapons, freshly forged, no chips among them. All partially concealed or painted with their signature blue marking. Hmm. <clears throat> How many are guarding? You see, on the outside, about 15 dogs. I don't like our odds. And that's not including the inside. The inside, the uh, the building that they're in is at least four stories. I have an idea, but I don't think you're going to like it. Do tell. Could pretend to take you prisoner. <laughs> and bring you in there. Dogs taking me prisoner? They'll never believe it. Ah... Uh... Don't oh, your ego get into your head. Everybody knows that cats would sooner die before be a prisoner by dogs. They don't look too bright, though. They're Remember, dogs. Prejudice. They're male dogs. Some fairly but then again, you said cats. they wouldn't believe it. They already attacked us just for yeah. have being in my presence. Or, or because they know we're searching for the map. There's no guarantee that taking me prisoner and walking up is going to cause them to do anything other than attack you anyway. They don't know us. We don't we know that, there. though. We weren't at the bottom. So you're going, it's just going to be the two of you with me as a prisoner. Not your best plan. I don't like she it. She has a point, though. You wouldn't have backup. If things went south, you have to. How sneaky are you? As long as I'm in this armor, not the best. You don't like your odds of getting to the roof of this building? Nothing? Fifteen plus whoever's inside that. That doesn't I mean, matter. From the outside. Any tall buildings nearby? This is the tallest building, but I guess the next one would be houses that are only about a single story across the street. We can try to sneak in, we can try to wolf our way in, or we can try to fight them. 
We could wait for them to leave. We could gather more information. Where would we gather? There's obviously something going on if everybody outside the dogs have left this area. I imagine we start talking with those who have their ears to the ground, such as Willard, I believe was his name. The oh, rat. Willie, right? Willie. The, the rat. Oh, yes. He seems to be unusually knowledgeable about things of this nature. He's saying things were getting wrong. Rats usually pretty good for information. We might consider asking around, scoping out this place, seeing if there's new information. For all we know, these additional guard these guards outside are additional guards because somebody escaped and they know we're coming. This could be a lot of Alright. What time of day? It's <clears throat> The sun is start um, on its trajectory down. It's well past, and, but it's okay. not quite dusk. Well, I'm just worried we haven't blown our cover already. Let's find Willard and see what he knows. I'll keep my eye on the place. I would like a stealth roll, please. Oh, right. What's the penalty for medium armor? I think it's just minus two. I think that's right. And uh, nine. So, everyone but Ben Newman is trying to be old dog, I'm guessing. So that seems to be his, uh, seems to be Willard's yeah. favorite hiding place. Yeah, let's go back and see what we can figure out. You get that? You see Scruffy? Third time today, hey? Been busy. Willard around? I haven't seen him. Where else does he like to hang out? Here, at the docks. I've seen him a couple times at the warehouse district. Mm-hmm. Or the warehouses. Who all is in the bar at this point? You see various levels of, basically, the typical crowd of Dock workers, dogs down on their luck, a few cats who are the similar, and several rats even. Who asked the cats? I had already planned on it. Perhaps you talk to the rats. They tend not to like cats very much. Give me a give me a glass of milk, if you would, to take over. As he hands it over. You're lucky. It's a peak when cats come in. And I'll go to the nearest table of cats. Okay. Friendliest looking bunch of kitty cats. There's three there. Men, women. Uh, two women, one man. Cats, may I join you? No one's stopping you. Delightful. I'm of the House of Rex. And yourselves? Katrina, Mogi. It's a pleasure. Bella, Mogi. Calvin, Mogi. What is a Von Rex doing here? Trying to make a living. <laughs> Trying to do better than what my station will allow me. Sounds like you're a movie and you just are in denial. Not quite, but not much better, which is why I'm here trying to change that. Much like yourselves, I imagine. Just didn't enjoy the monarchies as much as most. Well, me neither. There's there's a reason why I'm here trying to better my life. Anyway. Now, let me... Bend your ears here. Wandering around town, I, I noticed a there's a, a barrier almost. You went to the Retriever's territory? I'm guessing we're probably talking about the same thing, but I'm not familiar with that name. Tell me more. Back alley Retrievers have been kicking folks out of their part of town, bearing weapons, as Bella adds to Katrina's point. I've heard... That they've even thrown some cats in the rivers. And I heard once that they threw a rat from a window to make their point. This is happening and nobody's doing anything? It's the river wall and it's not happening to dogs. So nobody cares. Now, how long has this been going on? It started spiking up a while ago, I'd say a month, maybe two. Was there something that changed? Did you sense anything in the air as to... Well, the back alley retrievers have been around for a while. They've been pushing back, though their influence really stopped on their city block. And now they're trying to rule their territory with an iron fist. They got equipment. Good equipment. Any idea where they got it from? No clue. Did anybody new come into town around the time that they got this new equipment? Uh, not that I know of, but... At least not no one knew in Riverwall that I've seen, but you know how Pugmire is. Hard to leave the Riverwall, and hard to be left alone to get any information like that from the city proper. Fair enough, fair enough. Have you noticed anything else unusual going on in town? Uh, there were five who seemed to be 
on about something, didn't hear him do one to walked away. Five dogs? Yeah. And when did you, when did this happen? I would say the day before yesterday. And where did you see these? They were just outside their territory, talking to someone else. Ratty-looking dog. Didn't really get a good look at him. He had a hood, though there were a couple holes, so I saw the brown-patched ears sticking out. Is why I could tell he was a dog. He probably didn't smell that great either. It's the docks. Nothing smells great. Well, thank you. And just letting you know, that attitude there is not going to just be the only, won't just get you in trouble. It'll make people less likely to hire us as well. We'll see. So keep it to yourself. I'm only here to help. Well, you should get better at it. We'll see. Okay. Hi. And have you seen Willard around? Willard? Ah, Willard's probably down by the docks by this time. Why? Mm. I was just wondering if you wanted to help us take down the back alley retrievers. Take them down? That would be a feat. No. They have something of ours, and it sounds like since I left, they've been causing a lot of harm. That they have. But how many do you have in your group? Currently, not enough. That's why we need to find another way into them. Oh, they've got it down tight. Trust us, we've tried. Really? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. What did you find out? Just that they're, you see this tavern here? They have about, I would say, five, maybe up to seven times the number of patrons here. Okay. That There's like probably 30 to 40 people here. Do you know anything about who's running them, who's equipping them? Uh, yes. Well, I don't know who's equipping them. That no one's found out, though it's spiked up recently. I heard... Their leader, <clears throat> Terry the Terrier, has been pushing them hard. Nasty dog, too, and quick with a fencing weapon. So, you know, watch yourself. Ah, scurvy mind. Well, where does their equipment to get it from the docks or inland? We've been trying to figure that out. It looks like both, quite frankly. Hmm. The guards aren't doing anything? It looks like several of the police dogs have been paid off. Or at least friends in high places are making sure that the police dogs aren't in that area guarding when the shipments come down. Seems around. And you don't think how many cats and rats have they displaced? Ah, that's a hard number to come by. And one I don't really have exact figures for, but plenty enough. Enough to take them on? <laughs> With what? They don't have the equipment. Going up against a dog with your paws and your teeth when they're equipped with a sword or an axe is suicide. That's there's no sewer, there's no yeah. secret entrance, no. no way to get in there. No, no, no. I'm afraid you've been listening to too many fairy tales, my dear tag bard. I do enjoy a good tale. You'd be surprised how many have had a degree. Well, that may be true. I will say that Willard might have some information. He's been trying to keep tabs, and he's been trying to figure out who could help the uh, so-called <laughs> good dogs. Ha. Thank you very much, especially Harry the Terrier. What kind of terrier? What is he look like? He's got patchy brown fur, for one, but he has the same build as you, perhaps a bit taller. Uh, we assume you'll be able to go back to what passes for normal here. We can only hope. We can only hope. But we'll keep you on our thoughts in the future until our uh, successful. We'll let you know if we need any further assistance. We'll let you know if we can give any. Alright. Michael? <laughs> I need Benjamin to make a listen check, so it'd be a perception check. Alright. Eleven. You're hearing something. Curse and paying them what he promised. Turns out Peggy. Indistinct, indistinct. Cheryl and Craig are getting that angry. Looks like they might try and meet with him once again. Indistinct. It was Peggy, Cheryl, and Craig. So you now know. I'll know that. Head back to the old dog. Okay, you head back to the old dog as you see the others sitting around having a few drinks, waiting for everyone to reconvene. You see Scruffy look at you as he rolls. Is he? Slides you a bowl of something. Right. You put down a few shards of 
plastic. Anything? There might be some internal strife. Overheard some names that are having some sort of me- meeting. Peggy, Cheryl, Craig. Don't know when or where. Well, apparently the head honcho is called Terry. They've only been operating at this scale. Somebody from outside is... How many pieces of this map have they gotten? That, I don't know. That would bring in quite a bit of plastic. How do we contact Fred? Uh, you can go to the uh, Pugmire Royal Society outside of Riverwall. He has a place out there. Do they have any kind of mail? Like the, you sending can, letters? You can send letters, yeah. Looks like we're going to have to go down to the docks if we want to find out. But I want to ask Fritz how he came by this strap. Because I hadn't thought about it, you're right. If they get this map, mm. they're bad dogs for plastic. I'm saying they've already gotten pieces of the map. That's how come they knew about this piece. We already know it was a piece of a larger one. How much? I've been able to find a template. Anyways, I'll send a letter to Fritz asking uh, how he came by them if they know where the other two Okay, it'll probably take a few days to get a reply since the other two, or at least a day to reply. Yeah, well, it's, it doesn't seem terribly mm-hmm. yeah. So, with that, what do you guys want to do? I'm assuming we're heading to the docks. Or is the salty dog on the way to the docks? It is on the way to the docks. Okay. Let's drop by there and say hi to him. Okay, and you see Benji? Ah, oh, welcome back. Benji. Uh, what can I do for y'all? Well, we found out who paid off your guards. Oh. They're called the Black Alley Retrievers. Heard mm. of them? Never heard of them, no. Really? Well, we come and go, so to speak. Aye, but they're taking over quite a big portion of the river wall. That may be, but I've been spending most of my time in water. Water dog for the past, I say, half a year. It's my turn to take over the shop. We do a year, we do a, a six month tour, so to speak, so that we can fill our hearts with hope. <laughs> I just got back from water dog myself. So tell me, have you been moving large quantities of weapons and armor? Us? No. Who has? I've seen some. The fancy ships, too. Got some plastic holes on them, which says that if they at least have some sort of patron. Would the outfit is? No. It has to be a noble of some kind. Either monarchs or pugmire nobles, more than likely. I wouldn't put it past them to try to clean out the river. Wouldn't put it past cats to try and restock. Some aggression makes things easier for certain operations. You think the cats are intentionally arming an anti-cat group? Aye. Why wouldn't that be the best? Pugmire stands as a unified kingdom that says all are welcome. And then you have a set of fanatics, now well-armed, taking on cats. It poises the monarchies to look like a reasonable party. I've heard of a cat's fall, but that is the theory. All I'm saying is, is I wouldn't put it past them. Cats are crafty. Begging your pardon. Of course. <laughs> Monarchs and nobles are crafty. And shame. The cats and dogs here are just trying to live. Where are these fancy ships docking? Uh, they're on the more private end of the docks. They've got some police dogs roaming around. But the police dogs seem to have been paid handsomely not to look at them. So. Thank you. I'll be back if we need anything else. Very well. Well. Good luck to all of you. Hopefully you do this. This sort of strife is bad for business. It is. So, you start heading to the docks afterwards. What are you looking for at the docks? Willard and try to saunter our way up to more private and as close as we can get to eyeball the ships. You see Willard passing a few plastic shards to a few of the shipmasters as he smiles. Turns and sees all of you. Ah, hello. Hi. So, that trouble you mentioned earlier. Well, what about it? That was the back alley retrievers, wasn't it? It very well could have been. You had a run-in? They did. Ah, well. So what do you know about them? Fanatics. They believe the war between the monarchies and the dogs isn't over. That the monarchy simply changed tactics. Since they couldn't beat Pugmire militarily, they think they're trying to destroy Pugmire's culture. Ah, who's arming them? That, I don't know. Believe me, if I did, I would have told you. Well, we know that the ships they're coming in are expensive. Aye, 
that they are, but that unfortunately doesn't necessarily narrow it down either. There are lots of nobles, and while many talk about the lofty goals of Pugmire, I'm sure there are several who hold these anti-cat views. Nobles. Nobles are anti-strayable and anti-cat. Many are, yes. So, your Lord Pug seems to be on the better end of things. Yeah, does it mean? Do you know any way to get in their compounds, or... Any oh, to... goodness, no, that would be suicide. What about the private end? Can you get us in there? I could, but I can do you one better. The one... I've been doing some digging, doing some... Pain. I was going to see if you were at the old dog, even. Since we have common purpose. Well, it seems that the five who attacked your friend are going to the northern part of Riverwall. Outside of their own territory. To meet some. Yeah. Sounds like perhaps they might be meeting several somebodies. Several, maybe. All I know is that the five are going there. Good, very good. Thank you. Spoke to some other fine rats at the old dog, and trust me, we'll solve this. But when the time comes, you might need more help. I'm sure you will, but we will as well. I used a lot of my plastic to get it, in the hope of you reciprocating. Absolutely. Well, we're back. Till the next time we meet, Tag Bar. I feel ambushed. So. What would y'all like to do? Meeting on the north end of town, right? Yep. Well, let's find out who these people are. Still in the city? Still in Riverwall. Okay, I should scope it out ahead of time. You're a archer, right? More generically, just a hunter. Okay, well, but you have a bow. Have a crossbow. Okay. I have a rapier. And what about you? Do you have a crossbow? Just a base. Wherever there's meeting, we want at least one person looking out. I can keep a look out there. I might be able to speak in a little bit closer. Particularly, not particularly as much, but probably better. Okay. Sure. So, wherever we find this meeting location, I'll stake it out ahead of time. Okay. As you're heading there, you already see, you're moving and you see the five dogs there. As you see another dog in his ratty cloak. As it's like, you re- refuse to pay us by no means. I simply stated that I would pay you back. This was a high risk operation, you filthy mutt. You filthy mutt is he's like, please, please, gen- ladies, gentlemen, we can work something out. As he seems desperate as they take a swing on this guy and knock him down. What do you guys do? Or what do you do since you're up ahead a little bit? You guys are close behind. How far away am I? Um you're within range of your crossbow. Oh yeah, I'm yeah, gonna take a shot with my crossbow. Okay. I will make it non-lethal. Okay. The one that hit him. Okay. Nope. Nope. I mean, unless it, seven hits. No. It whizzes around and one turns and looks at you. You see them pull out a short bow going, What's this then? As they shoot off at you. What's your own class? Fifteen. Okay. Misses. As you see the other ones, like, moving off the, the dog they're beating up. You guys are starting to approach as you see a short bow aimed at Benjamin. A dog... Curled up on the ground, fairly beat up. Could we hear the exchange, or was it? Uh, we'll do a um a perception. Is that notice or less? Yeah, that's notice. Right. That's intelligence, right? Listen. Notice is wisdom. Okay, so I got a twenty. Okay. Nine. So you need a ten or better. Roll. Oh, notice so. or notice, so it's a wisdom. I just need a five. So you two heard the exchange. I just needed that for a funny retort. Okay. <laughs> it was a higher risk operation than you expected. Draw my sword. Don't okay. let the small one get away. Roll initiative, please. Initiative would be, um... Dexterity. And I got natural wise. Okay. So, give me a sec. Total, okay. I'm just gonna write down all my antagonist ones first. Can I save this critical success for Conan? <laughs> <laughs> no. If only we rolled this way before. Yeah. I am also rolling very well for Conan. <laughs> this may be a long combat. This may be a very long combat. So the order is 
one of the dogs, who we're just going to go by his actual name, Craig, then Vesper, then Tagbard, then Sheen, then Peggy, then Barney, then Trevor, then Benjamin, then, um, then Cheryl. Oh, all right. The dogs who pulled out the oh, bow. I'm sorry, yeah. Huh? Which, which dog has pulled out the bow? And I'm sorry, it's uh, Barney, Tanner, Benjamin, Trevor, Cheryl. So, and I'm going to say Craig has the bow. And he's first in top of order. Uh-huh. Okay. Is the guy on the ground, is he going? No. Okay. No. Don't let him get away. Craig sees you and fires. What's your armor class? 14. That hits. You take three points of piercing. And how exactly, where do we, is that stamina points that yeah, we're using stamina for that? Points, yeah, stamina okay. points instead of HP. Okay. Current. And what's your stamina? No. Nice. D8. Alright, Vesper? Uh, I will move up and I will try to stab him. Oh, oh, another great roll for Conan. <laughs> that would be a total of, um, seven. I'm afraid you did not hit him. Okay. Tag by. Uh, does this mean to have charging? Yes, basically. So, minus, uh... You want to keep him alive? Well, no, I, I, I want to charge up the attack one. So okay, that, that's like, fine. There's no penalty that they're well within range. Alright. I'll attack... Yeah, I'll, I'll go after it. Okay. Oh, critical failure. Alright. So you miss, and roll that again. If it's a if it's lower than a 10, tell me. If it's higher than a 10, you're safe. Uh, I work. So you just miss wildly, but, you know. Jeans. Yeah. So, uh, if I got that right, it's Craig that we focus firing on. Focus yes. firing on. So I'll run up to the guy with the uh, Did with the magic bow. Forever? Yes, but I don't think I've actually statted how that works. Okay. I know you get cantrips. I think you have damage cantrips. I think so. But so. yeah, I'll just whack at him with the okay. with the mace for now. And that is a twelve. Twelve. That misses. We are on. Fire. We could also make them be on fire. How? Are you, they're going to stand there while you flint and steal them? Absolutely. Okay. Well, you try that. <laughs> it's well within your rights to try. Now it's Peggy, who she comes at once again. Vesper. She's bearing a, I'm going to say a scimitar. Actually, I'll do a, um, she has a rapier. Run up. That hits. And did 10 damage. Alright, so I'm down. You're down. So, he has healing spells. And when it gets to your turn, you will need to make a constitution saving throw of DC 15. If you get it, you are allowed to spend your three tries, but when you succeed, you automatically are um, stabilized, and you can spend any uh, you can spend any remaining stamina dice to heal. Okay. So, and you get three tries. A botch counts as Two failures. And is there any way to, like, defend on this? That's your armor class. That's a, But, I mean, I can't parry or anything? Uh, if there's tricks for that, then maybe. Okay. But, but otherwise, no. Otherwise, no. It's just all encapsulated in the armor class. Yeah. All right. Seeing that she's down, Bonnie's going after Tag Bard. That hits. And they did three damage. Yep, they rolled an 18. Unmodified. Yeah. Tanner is going to go after you. He misses. Very bad. Nope. Benjamin. Alright. Going to shoot Craig. Alright. Shoot Craig. Lethal. Uh, 21. That hits. Nine. Nine. As Craig gets hit, he's like, ah! Snaps the arrow. Trevor, what are you doing? Tucker, you mean? Or Tucker, yes. That's why I was confused on Trevor. I was like, who's Trevor? One of the bad guys? Tucker. Okay, um, how close are the enemies? You, they, they're close enough for you to get to. Okay, so you have 25. And feet. Craig is hurt, and there are two on Tag Bard right now. Uh, I'll tag one of the guys on Tag Bard. Okay. My battle axe, roll six. Miss. The last one. This is not our day. Cheryl's coming, would be great if it was Conan. Uh, Cheryl's coming after uh, you, actually, and she's going to swing with her. She's going to stab with her spear. And what's your armor class? Armor class is 18. Yeah, that missed. Missed. So, back up to Craig. Craig's pulling out the bow and shooting at Benjamin. Craig missed you. Vesper, is this your saving throw time? So, I'm rolling... Constitution. 
So what? It, how does the stamina dice play into this then? So if you succeed, you can spend your da- stamina die to heal okay. after you succeed. Two. So that's one failure. Yep. Fun times. You get two more. Tag bar. Okay. Now oh. 20. Roll nice. that again. No, so it's not a critical. <laughs> but you do get to roll damage. Uh, it's 12 damage. Craig goes down. <laughs> is that lethal or non lethal? Lethal. Craig is dead. Alright. Sheen, what are you doing? I'm trying to figure out how magic works. Um. <laughs> okay, so I should probably, you know, help out. Probably. Person. Probably. Are you still on the ground? Yes, yeah. I'm still on the ground. Okay, so we're going to go over there and cast Cure Wounds. Okay, that's a D8, right? Yeah, so let's see. D8 plus spellcaster, spellcasting ability modifiers. Which that's, is your wisdom. Which is my wisdom. Okay. Uh, five. Five? You've got five HP and you're back up. Excellent. Much obliged. No problem. Okay. Is there and she looks at you, tries to swing. Your armor class? 13. Misses. Barney on the tag bard. Swing at him. What's your armor class again? 16. Just hits. Uh, four damage. Here. Swing on. Misses. Benjamin. Doing the same. Misses. Tucker, it's your turn. Okay. Uh, attack with battle axe. Yeah. Okay. Much better, uh, 16. That hits. I got 9 damage. Okay. And we're gonna speed up ahead, because I have to I have to leave soon. You've defeated the gang of dogs. As you see the one ratty-looking dog looking up at you. Thank you so much for saving me. I am in your debt. Yes, you are. What were you paying them to do? I was not paying to do anything. I thought we had a simple business agreement. And what was that agreement? I heard that Royal Pioneers had a map. I am a simple dog who comes from a long line of nobles, and all relics were taken. So, of course, following my hard times, I said perhaps they could reach out and get the map, and we could aid whoever was doing it if it meant it came to our family. They said that they got it through fine means, and then came to me for plastic. Plastic of all things. What are you doing? When I told them that it was a simple agreement and that I would pay them once I returned my family to noble status. Uh, since you are a series told them. Okay. Well, um, 15. Okay. Wait, 15. Okay. You, you're unsure. Hmm. So, you hired a gang of folk to steal a map and then didn't pay them? By no means. I had no idea that they were thugs. Where is the map? Ah, that would be... As he's rifling through many pockets, as you see him turning turning about, you see various knickknacks of bizarre creation, including things he clearly made to sell to people, and that they would break upon the first use and in the best case. <laughs> Perhaps you could take me with you. I... I know my way around to combat. Clearly. As you slid there, cowering. I was by myself. With a group. Ah, with a group I know how to fight, sir. It's very clear. I come from a long line of nobles who have a strength of arm, so to speak. And what is this long line of nobles? What house? Ah, uh, yes, yes. <laughs> we come from the line of Louis. I heard there are many of them. Long, long ago, though unfortunately one of mine, as legend says, lost his head in some sort of revolt in one of this outlying cities. I read about it somewhat simple long ago. Louis. Yes, yes, yes. Is Louis such a strange name for a dog? I think not. Breed? By no means. Simply a last name we chose as our house name. What is your breed? Companion? No worker. Well, <laughs> I have taken the name of Mutt myself solely to show the fine people of Pokemon that they can rise up from the lowest of the low. Even if it's a bit of a white line that I'm the lowest of the low, obviously, it's the inspiration that counts, obviously. And what other white lies are you telling in order to? White lies by no means. I am Dalton, Dalton the Wise, 
and I know many things, and I know that it's these sort of things of hope that are important. How would you be useful to us in combat? Well, I can spot things from far away. I have a quick wit and a diplomatic temperament. <laughs> so, actual combat, no. Well, give me a swift sword, and I'm sure I can swing it about and take out a few dire ticks. You ever done that before? Of, of course. I'm gonna, so, this is the map you got from the from retreat. Them. Yes. And you had no idea... How did you know who would have it? Uh, I heard from a rat that, that, that a powerful map was coming through. I beat him in a simple uh, simple game of drinks. Though, if you listen to that rat, he claims I cheated. But pay no attention to the lies. You know how rats are. Spoil sports about these sorts of competitions. Why don't you join us at the at a tavern for a drink so we can talk about this further and in more a little more p- privacy, a little more appropriate uh Uh certainly. Certainly. This uh well there are a few corpses here and it does bring up the nerves a bit. Why don't you follow us back to the old dog tavern? Uh the old dog tavern, uh, Perhaps we could choose somewhere else. Once again, Scruffy thinks I cheated him in a simple game, but you know Scruffy. He's a bit you were playing against Scruffy? Yes. And he told you where to find the map? No, 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 no. I played against him many years ago for a room, and he claimed I cheated. Huh. Who is this rat you played against? Oh, some... some rat. I... right now I must say that the nerves are a bit high, and I... I could point him out if I saw him. Well, then why don't you walk with us, and we'll see if we find him on the way, and see if maybe another tavern takes our fancy. Perhaps. Uh, of course. Of course. One more question. I'm going to check in with a friend about the map first. Then I'll meet back up. I want you to answer this very, very honestly. Where are the other people? I heard that there was one at the university. Here. Uh, yes. The, the, the shepherds there got, or overlooking it. I, being an expert in these sorts of things, thought with the piece of map that I had gotten from these ruffians, I could really push forward and strengthen their understanding of men. Do you have any of them? Uh, no. You cannot tell. Very well. Come along. <laughs> of course, of course. It'll be a profitable adventure, I, I assure you, most deeply. They don't call me Dalton the Wise for nothing, as he gladly steps forward with a strange air of confidence that you don't know where it came from. And with that, we will close for the night. How'd you make someone who lies more than Ozpin? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for uh, listening. I didn't. Um, please, the estate of Jack Vance, do not sue this stream. <laughs> so, anyway, thank you, everyone. Uh, for listening, uh, see you. you oh yes, we have dog. our dog, or we have Christine's dog, Garrus. <laughs> yes. We will see everyone again next week. Thank you for listening. Bye. <laughs>